Hello! Finally! Finally, and I'm so sorry Thank about you. this. No, no, no. Listen, I'm sorry that you have to see me do all this stupidity. <laughs> no, I was not going to act. <laughs> you have come from this superstar's account who owns this very big entertainment company. We have to tell him hello. Please tell him hello. Hello! Hi! <laughs> <Hi. laughs> Do you have do you have any do, do you have any vacancy for a compare or a moderator please remember we, yeah a lot a lot <laughs> hopefully when the event start up again <laughs> yeah don't forget me don't forget me owen don't forget for me sure. i have your instagram for account sure. i have your instagram for account sure. i understand <laughs> no, no, for sure i don't forget thank you for doing this thank you <laughs> hello hi so, let, let me let me do this starting bit formally okay and huh. then after that i will uh, we'll yeah. we'll do it so today we have with us one of the most legendary and iconic names in india quite honestly we have somebody who is not just related to the dutt family in terms of lineage but also somebody who's made a mark which is so big that young people and young women all across the country admire her not just for being the parliamentarian not just for standing up for issues but i quite honestly think you are a role model because of who you are as a person priya that it's a thank pleasure you. and an honor having you on kuch to corona thank you so much thank you so much thank you very much that was quite a drill <laughs> priya i've been doing so much stupidity you must have thought what an idiot uh, so that's why i had to do something nice nice <laughs> but tell me how has your quarantine been How's your quarantine been? Well, not bad. I have had um, ups and downs, seesaws of emotions. Okay, from enjoying it a lot in the beginning, then anger, frustration, and all that stuff. Till the time I came to accept that, listen, this is how it's going to be for a while. So let's make the most out of it. So I think that was my whole journey of thirty days, I should say. <laughs> so not too, so not too bad. is it the frustration because of because of being quarantined and stuck with your family because in my case my family is stuck is is ter- is terribly irritated at me <laughs> no i think i'm quite enjoying my family time i'm really enjoying it especially my kids because i'm doing uh, all sorts of things right we are cooking together and we are doing and maybe i've gotten onto their nerves by now so i think they are quite <laughs> more than me getting irritated of them <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I must tell you, my mother does not watch shows often when I do these because she thinks I behave like a lunatic. And she says, "Rishabh, we we uh, we educated you, and we thought you're going to be a well-bred, educated boy who would speak in chaste English, but you uh, <laughs> behave like a like an idiot." But when I told her that Priya Dutt is joining this, she's left everything and she's glued on to the screen. How sweet! Please, hello to her. <laughs> Hi. Tomorrow I'm going to get good food. <laughs> but but then you've been doing some amazing and crazy social work with the Nargis Dutt Foundation with your mother's foundation is just some yes. phenomenal stuff. I think all my friends in Bandra uh, mm. absolutely adore what you do. So all my friends in the film fraternity which is absolutely nobody uh, <laughs> but all of them speak so highly yeah. of you and uh, tell us a little more about what you're doing. So you know we the Narkesa Foundation actually had got started with my father in 1981 so it's been there for like 30 odd year, uh, years now and it works for health and education and of course whenever there is an issue a calamity or a natural disaster in the country we get on board and do whatever we can for this like for now in the covid situation in the lockdown you know i think the issue is not just about the lockdown and the covid it's the issue is about what's going to happen to the people you know how long are they going to be hungry and we see we are very comfortable in our homes right now you and me and there's so many of us sitting at home and enjoying you know but then there are those people who are out there in the slums and in the shanties or the migrant workers who really live day right and who have nothing so i mean one of the reasons of my frustrations was that that i'm not able to you know i wish i could do more and uh, in the whole process but i got in touch with so many lovely people who are out there every 
day working to try and reach food or grain somewhere somebody is giving you know khana to somebody somebody is given so we we are really work with those and we are supporting these kind of people who are on their on ground really making a difference wow. and uh, yeah for for now we are doing that otherwise we work a lot with cancer patients and um, a lot with um, children from the villages educating the kids in the villages or children from the low socio economic uh, groups you know making model schools and handing it back to the zilla parishad and things like that and basically if if my mother throws me out you'll take care uh, so uh, I, <laughs> yes i will <laughs> no but but you you honestly doing you you're doing some commendable work like you said with the zilla parishad and so on so forth where you're educating them on all of these things how important is it that young india and because all the people who are watching currently and even will be watching this recorded are all between the age bracket of 13 to 24 uh, sure. the spirit of altruism and the seed of altruism being planted young is something that i think is quintessential uh, yeah. but as a part of school curriculum only in certain institutions do i see this being imparted yeah. uh, as somebody who's who's uh, been the yeah. person who's driven all of this what yeah. what is your message to young people how important is it to be altruistic and why very very important and you know it was my good fortune that through the foundation we actually connected with a lot of schools in mumbai and started working with them so you know bringing projects to them where the kids have raised money and uh, you know for different different uh, causes some have raised money for cancer patients some have raised money for a uh, water filter in a village school or some has raised my raised money for giving uh, uh, you know toys to children in some village so i think you know that really brought them close to uh what the ground reality is so a lot of the schools which we worked with are the more the elite schools right and of course they require to give give few hours of uh, uh you so know so community so. Yeah. and but it made a huge difference to them because they saw what was happening on ground level and how they were making a difference you know to lives of people so i think that's really really important and uh, one time i took uh, these kids from the school here to the village where we oh, were working I... yeah and it was so amazing to see the interaction between them and the kids in the village that there was no language barrier there was nothing there was no such thing as they were just kids having a great time together and i thought that was so beautiful to see you know and then these kids went around the village asked the questions to the kids what they need and they came up with a project for that village so i love doing stuff like this where we where where we really engage uh kids and youngsters to you know experience that and only then come to something so this is lovely this is this is this is really phenomenal because this i am also believes in empowering young people to do uh, to do much more for the nation and the country of course and, and this is phenomenal what you're doing uh at at some level i wish we would have caught you earlier but you've been ignoring all my calls so today you got caught <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. i just joking you you're a wonderful lady and you're doing some some extremely relevant work but coming to the second part of what i want to talk to you about it's called tumbi yeah. corona hmm. post pandemic uh yes post pandemic do you think our lives are going to change in terms of people at large and young people specifically i think it will i think there will be a some shift and i just hope first of all that people learn out of this whole one month of quarantine of how it's affected us positively and negatively maybe but right. i think the positive part of it you know and how how much we've started appreciating the little things in life and how busy we were in our lives early we had no time for each other okay and now we are yearning to really meet our friends and you everybody's on zoom calls and everybody's on this and that and all the other otherwise what would you see i would see a bunch of kids in a restaurant all sitting but they were all on their phones and today they're just dying to be with each other so i think it's a good lesson here and i think human contact is so important of course then we look at the environment you see how beautiful mumbai has become i know look at like i can see i right. can see everything behind me this is too yeah. reason, too reason <laughs> right. 
one is the air second is i yeah. just got lasik done <laughs> but, but no actually the environment it, it's, i think few people realize that we have only one there's only a planet a there's no planet b and uh, and i think one yeah. very positive thing after this this pandemic i think one of the things is the environment has has yes. is Yes. What what Greta Thunberg has been trying to do, and what all these climate summits have been trying to do, Corona has done. Correct. Correct. <laughs> I I have said this. I said, see, I mean, they, it shut down the world. I know. Really, I mean, they said it. It was. It's amazing that how this whole thing has kind of uh, turned out, and I think it has benefited the most to is to the environment. Yeah, and now these days the animals are looking at us captured in the cage. I saw that one, uh, one picture. I agree. And, I agree. and it's nice for a change. It's actually nice because the social animals Lovely. are the one inside. Lovely. <laughs> But Nisha, very important to give you a message on your platform here please. is to inform people that their pets are not going to give them the coronavirus. Correct. You know, you know this news has come out. Two cats have got it in New York. Called. so after speaking to a lot of doctors the doctor said that the animal cannot transmit beyond its species it cannot come into a human being through a cat or a dog if you have so because so many people have started abandoning their pets i know i know you know it's terrible yeah it's really terrible so i just hope people understand that it's not you know there's nothing to fear I told my mother the same thing, but yet she is she keeps me locked in a room. But uh, <laughs> but, no, but but tell me that the the like you rightly said one of the things that young people are going to learn the tons of things was the one of the upsides of the pandemic is the environment. But in yeah. the pandemic, and there are yet a few days yet left, ten more days. Can you yes. recommend young people to do something? Okay, what what can we do? We're tired of Netflixing and chilling. So uh, I, you know. <laughs> Uh, there is a lot of things you can do yeah you know even online you know i right. know how much the youngsters love to be online and you know do everything on the computer and things like that i think there is a lot of lot of things that can happen i mean even connect, you know there are a lot of organizations who have connected with people you're talking about even people with um, who have a lot of uh, mental health issues who have Correct. been locked up Correct. and need someone to talk to you know or uh, or have a panic attack or have anxiety or have the so there are a lot of platforms now who are creating small communities to reach out to their friends you don't have to do too much just in your own locality yeah just everything in your own locality like we have here who just in care of the elderly who are living alone how oh, nice and why because they can't, they shouldn't be going out to get it, right correct so one call that i need this this is in my house that thing person will go and deliver it to his house, okay. to their So I mean, these are very little things, but goes a long way. And I think it's just bringing back the community feel which we had lost for you know for so many years. And I'm sure your mother will tell you that that when you know you, when we were young, we knew our neighbors. The neighbor used to come; we could go to their house. But that doesn't happen uh, anymore, you know. I know. Okay. She, she tells me she tells me the same thing, and the the ability to view everyone as equals, and this is, yeah. this is very humbling. because i think that spirit of egalitarianism which which was quite you know which was going away see i'm i'm googling words as we speak to sound intelligent so i googled <laughs> altruistic and then now egalitarian uh, really i have the oxford dictionary i could I, i just left it but coming back coming back to us the last part of what the the concluding parts of the segments that i need to ask you and then we take two three questions from the audience because the audience sure. actually wants yeah. to ask you more questions so uh, sure. the last part is a rapid fire Oops. Okay, but I will try. But I'm not inspired. I, I I'm partially inspired by coffee by with coffee with uh, car. But, yeah. Uh, but I am also <laughs> partially inspired by uh, the nation wants to know. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Uh, so your first, the first question is, if not, if not a parliamentarian, a social activist. Um, and if not all the hundred wonderful things that you already doing if you had a mm-hmm. ch- chance and a choice to change your vocation and profession what which change. one would it be change yeah uh, you know i would love to do a documentaries i would love to be a documentary filmmaker travel and really 
I love traveling. Okay. I love traveling. I mean, you give me a job. I sometimes I said, why didn't I get a job just going and, you know, being one critic, going to different places and uh, writing a blog, a travel blog or something <laughs> like that. Maybe a writer or a documentary filmmaker. So travel blogger. Travel blogger. Oh, I would love so to be a travel and we would all follow you for sure. All the people who are watching, all these 500 people who are watching live right now and the others also will definitely love to watch you. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, so uh, apart from this question, may I, may I ask you this question? When are we seeing Priya Dutt come back into active politics? When are we seeing you actively joining politics again? I know this is a taboo, but, uh, <laughs> but I had to. I, had to. I, I've, I just feel that I'm enjoying my work so much right now. And I have done politics for 10, 15 years and sure. I've given it my best. And I always feel, you know, I think younger people should be coming in a, into politics and really making that difference. Because after a while you get saturated, how much more can you bring to the table, right? You need new minds, you need new ideas. And I think today we really need a younger lot because they will be able to really relate better to the problems of this generation. And I think it's very important. And I think once you're saturated, you, you need to know when your exit should happen. The right. Absolutely. No, absolutely. Uh, are, you, are you slightly uh, indicating that the exit should happen right now? <laughs> I, so I'm not saying anything. The exit, no, 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 I had actually <laughs> my exit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was asking you, do you want to exit the show? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, but there are some young, young, wonderful, wonderful MLAs in your locality like Zisha, yes. Siddiqui, Aditya Thakre. All of these are young, good friends yeah. of mine and they're doing some phenomenal yeah. work here. They're, uh, they're really, Lovely. really... Yeah, I think, you know, it's and it's so wonderful to see them working like this. Yeah, and, and I really enjoy it. Because I'm in touch with them, with what is happening in, you know, the area. Somebody needs help here. Somebody needs help there. I can pick up the phone and actually call them and, you know. So it's so, it's, it's wonderful that they are sensitive, they're compassionate. And I think you need that today. So you're overlooking all of them and mentoring them correctly. So this is great. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, no, but tell me, this is, this is a very important question. Which is uh. your favorite sitcom on Netflix? <laughs> You know, I've, oh, yeah, I've been watching so many of it. It's like, I was watching this one just very recently. I don't know if it's on Netflix or something else. I'm not sure. Correct. Which, which one? Huh? But that's okay. This, this uh, program is not sponsored by Netflix. So no problem. Huh, I was wondering, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was watching Modern Love. Ah. It was be very interesting. It has stories. Wow. Which, uh, you know, short stories. Uh, about love and stuff like this, which uh, were inspired by the stories of New York Times. So I thought it was pretty interesting. So I was watching that and it's quite sweet. How nice. How nice. <laughs> My last question to you, and then we'll take two questions from the audience. Yes. It's a million dollar question. On answering this question, we transfer one million Zimbabwean dollars <laughs> to your bank account. <laughs> 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 which is your favorite platform? to address mm -hmm. young people. And there are two choices. One Correct. is I-I-M-U-N. And okay. the second, India's right. International Movement to Unite Nations. <laughs> oh, okay. I-I-M-U-N. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so much. Uh, <laughs> Very, very, this is the most difficult question on the show. It's the most difficult. <laughs> but with your permission, after my uh, silliness, I want to move on to two or three intelligent questions by the young people with your permission. Mm -hmm. Sure, please. Uh, what was it like to choose a path that is different from your family's? Actually, it was not very different, you know, and uh, my father was in politics for 25 years. But I was never groomed for politics. My mother was a worker before that, an actor, of course, you know what you know. So I think I got a bit from both. Of course, my passion is to work with my foundation. But uh, 
politics came very suddenly into my life i hadn't planned politics ever you know i was working in the plastic society of india for about 4 years doing uh, and stuff like that in the department there very happy i had just got married had no idea about what politics was till <laughs> my way, really and uh, that's when you know everything changed my life to 360 degree turn and uh, i came into politics and that's where my journey started there how oh, nice so, how oh, nice and, and- and the last question that i have to ask you on behalf of everybody hmm which is your favorite dish to eat what is your favorite food we have to end it on a lighter note so i had to ask you this question <laughs> i love my one and favorite biryani chicken biryani oh. <laughs> aur abhi to ramzan bhi hai so this is abhi. the right time <laughs> ab is good chicken biryani <laughs> and in Bandra, I know more than two places that serve good biryani. So I'm sure. <laughs> but but it's been a pleasure. It's been wonderful talking to you. Honestly, I don't think I've seen. You no, know, I'm, I'm I'm sorry if I I I um, sounded um, overtly um, ridiculous and funny. Uh, <laughs> but I I only meant to lighten it up, and I hope you had as good a time as we had hosting you. I loved I loved it, Rishab, and I thought it was. It was wonderful to have some laughs, and everybody needs that today. <laughs> I know, I know. Yes, so it's wonderful. Thank you so much for having me, and thank everyone who's online here with us. And we are continuing to hope that you are mentoring us, and you're not going to run away now. All hundred percent, pakka. Hundred percent. Now we have both your Instagram handle and your husband's Instagram handle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any time. Your my my biggest. Love in regards to your husband. Thank, thank him, please, from the bottom of our heart, from my heart, yes. Yes. Uh, and everybody else who's watching. Lots of love to both you and him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My regards to your mom. Bye. Done. 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 <laughs> thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.